So what's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new Warzone video. For today's upload, we're going to be taking a look at the new update that dropped basically like half an hour to an hour ago, I believe. There was an update that dropped for Modern Warfare as a whole, covering multiplayer as well as Warzone, but I'm sure you guys can see by the uploads and how much I stream Warzone on Twitch that I'm not really interested in playing multiplayer at the moment, so therefore I'm not going to be covering literally anything on the multiplayer side. Not the new map, nothing like that, because I just don't really care to, and so you'll basically never see that from me because when I, you know, when I want to play multiplayer, this will be all said and done and no one will care about it anymore but basically for the warzone side of things i'm going to be giving you guys a very simple and quick tip on how to get faster loadouts within warzone because after this update the drop amount was increased from 6,000 cash to 8,500 which is only 2,500 it's really not that big of a deal because if you are like me and mainly land superstore every time it's in your favor on the drop route you can easily leave if you survive of course with about 15 to 20k cash and if not that definitely enough to buy your a loadout drop and that's basically the number one way to get loadout drops just like you would normally 8500 isn't that big of an increase like i said it's only 2500 more and with landing at superstore and being able to easily get you know 15k cash and walk out with a loadout drop of these at buy store around you it's easily done you know especially how much loot is in superstore you won't need to buy armor panels a couple other things that i want to mention over the gameplay here as well a 75 got added so you'll see that in the background but there were some very small but really nice things added to warzone as well so they got rid of the team wiped and down text when you kill someone because obviously it's it's solo so you're not team team wiping anyone at all and the only way you're going to get a downed uh, text pop up is as, as if someone actually has a self revive the next thing that was changed was the squad icon in the top right where it would show your squads your players and then how many kills you have and anything else except solos but of course it's solo so there's only going to be single players instead of actual groups so they got rid of that as well and just a lot of small little details visually like when you're applying armor there's a nice blue glow where triangle is uh the crates have a, a really nice blue glow around them and they look a, a lot nicer so another thing i wanted to talk about in regards to the drops is how to have two perks at once but it only works with this specific thing so basically i talked about you know you guys dropping superstore collecting lots of cash and then buying your loadout drop basically as quick as you could before the update and before the nerf so what you can do is purchase your first loadout drop get a class that has ghost with it that can just be an assault rifle and then a pistol you don't actually have to have a specific secondary just have ghost and then whatever gun you want as your primary and then when the free drop comes along go and pick up another class that has uh, like a sniper on it or an smg whatever you want as your secondary pick that up and then you've basically got two weapons as if you had overkill but you've got ghost on as well and that's just a really helpful way to like i said basically have two perks running at the same time you've got ghost on while you've got two weapons on your class and you only had to buy one loadout drop which is very helpful so to end the video off i want to mention a couple things that i didn't see in this update that i'd really love to see in the next one and i'm sure you'll all agree with me because they're everything that would benefit people in this game so the first one is the elephant in the room and that is the server lag issues the lag spikes whatever you want to call them people across the whole community are experiencing it so it's not just one or two people having internet issues so it's you know you going about your day playing some warzone and then all of a sudden randomly your character will just spring across the map just just jitter everywhere and it's a really big issue that a lot of people experience and i think it needs to be fixed it's just plain and simple i don't know why it wasn't addressed maybe they just don't want to admit that their servers are dog shit right now that's basically uh you know an elephant in the room the second one and this is a pretty big one as well is the final circles ending in areas that are not accessible by foot or by vehicle but only by a helicopter you know so i've seen circles end on the stadium which you cannot get to by a vehicle or foot and then a circle i'm going to put up on screen right now is one that ended outside of the map imagine that you're playing a game of warzone you're in top five top three whatever it may be and then a zone is outside of the map in the warning area where you have to return to combat within four or five seconds but the gas is closing in at the same time you're, you're literally dead you may as well just leave at that point because it, you'd be better off i know i personally wouldn't want to sit there and just die knowing i can't do anything now one last thing that i'd like to see a change to and i'm not too sure how it could be done but i'd like to see it anyway is something with the gas mask animation i'm sure a lot of you guys have had the issue where you have the storm just close on you a little bit enough to make you do the actual animation and then you end up losing the gunfight because you're taking it off or putting it on and the only way you can actually shoot is by hip firing and it's just a flipped coin you know it's it's a 50 50 it goes either way you're both hip firing so it's just a flipped coin who wins really and it's a very annoying animation I, I don't think it could be changed much at all the only thing i can think of is just it appearing so when you get in the storm it's automatically on and that's that so that that's all i have for it i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like drop a sub comment down below what other things you might want to see changed in warzone things you have issues with thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the
the next video. Have a great day and I'm out.